Yeah. Yeah. Well, you you are expanding your circle further and further. You know, you're starting as the Grace Cathedral project, then you're going to the carpet tapestry labyrinth, and then in 1995 you create the first permanent uh, labyrinth at Grace Cathedral outside. So it's another another anniversary of of 25 years of creating the first permanent labyrinth at Grace Cathedral. Um, outdoors. So do you want to talk about a little bit about the birth of that outdoor labyrinth and the... Yeah, um, it was interesting how that kind of came about because we, you know, in 1991 when we moved the chairs in Shark Cathedral, the Dean of Grace Cathedral was with us and, and five other congregation members, including myself. And then we had the, the Canvas Labyrinth for uh, 37 months. We opened it March of 92, and then it became 1994. And I think I started raising m- money, but also the cathedral sort of took pity on me to roll this Canvas Labyrinth up twice a month. <laughs> and, and then that's when we moved to the tapestry. And then we, were, we had the earthquake and um, we knew the building was unstable, our office buildings. And so there became this big project of getting um, a, a new uh, administration building and tearing down the old one. And, and then a labyrinth just, I think, mostly because of my colleague, Mark, Mark Lee, seeing the value in it, um, uh, just put in the labyrinth in, in the plans. Wow. And and the one thing I knew, which I think was wise, is I didn't say anything. I mean, I said, oh, great idea, you know, and then let it alone. Wow. People needed to own it. Uh-huh. People needed, the congregation needed to own it and not get in the way of, of their discovering it and using it. And and then it's it's a memorial labyrinth. And Melvin E. Swig, uh, who was a, a Jewish a philanthropist who was a board member of Grace Cathedral. So it became a, a, a memorial labyrinth, which is also very helpful as well, because mm-hmm. I learned that memorial labyrinths, um, there's money dedicated to it. And even though you might have cutbacks on the project, you can't touch a memorial labyrinth money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does that, that agree with you, Robert? Yeah. Yeah, well, and you know, there's a, a definition for good negotiators. Good negotiators let other people have your way. Yeah, that's there. You go. That that's that sums it up. That sums it up. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And was the idea of the outdoor labyrinth really to create a, a opportunity for people to walk it twenty four hours a day, seven days a week? You know, whereas in Chart, you know, it's only open this one day a year, or then you know now on Fridays in the summer. But you know, here you're doing the opposite. Not only are you having a labyrinth in the cathedral, but you're also creating a second labyrinth outside. So really, you can always walk a labyrinth almost any time, no matter what. That's right. That's right. And and it was that because the labyrinth is such a great bridge, you know, between people who don't, you know, as the phrase darken the door of a church to the people who are in the in the church on Sunday mornings. It's just a wonderful bridge mm. uh, because it supports anyone's spirituality. Yeah. And also, I think, yeah, in some ways, having the labyrinth outside the cathedral, it makes it even more inviting people that are scared to go into the church or, or reserved, you know, or, or choose not to, you know, mm-hmm. they don't really... They can they can be outside and, and feel that they aren't really in the church but they're on the grounds you know yeah so. mm-hmm. yeah and they're and they're experiencing their spiritual journey yeah mm-hmm. the only and there, just one story about graffiti because that's what yeah. one of the things we are worried about sure. is the only time there was graffiti is somebody in black paint put an arrow to the beginning opening <laughs> entrance and said start here. <laughs> wow. The only graffiti was like a, a kind of kind hearted, like, let me help people out. <laughs> yeah, right, right. A benevolent graffiti artist. 